Neom, just four letters, but packed with Saudi Arabia's big dreams. The name itself is a clever mix. Neo, from Greek meaning new, and the M from Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's name, plus the Arabic word for future. Imagine this, a vast expanse up in the northwest, where they are sketching out plans for futuristic cities like The Line, Oxagon, Trojana, and Sindala. But let's not race too far ahead. We're here to sift through the flashy 3D models and see what's actually happening on the ground. Lately, Neom has been buzzing with activity from major announcements to finally breaking ground on construction. They're even aiming to unveil the first pieces of this colossal project this year. But as any builder knows, you've got to lay a solid foundation before you start stacking skyscrapers. So let's rewind to the start. It all began with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's vision. Neom is an ambitious project to create a mega city for 9 million people nestled between the Red Sea, Jordan, and the Gulf of Aqaba. It's no small feat, we're talking about an area the size of Belgium, and they are planning to fill it with some seriously cutting edge buildings. Their timeline, well, they're shooting for 2030, which aligns with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, a plan to modernize the country and diversify its economy beyond oil. And boy, are they putting their money where their mouth is. They've earmarked around $700 billion for this project, mostly from the Public Investment Fund. And that's just the beginning. The budget keeps growing with each new announcement. Speaking of which, they've got some controversial stuff in the works too, like the Line 2. But we'll save that juicy tidbit for later in this video. So, it's not just about the big names already in the mix at Neom. They're constantly adding new players to the construction scene. Take Lyra, for instance. It's set to be a hotspot for tourists with three swanky hotels. Picture this, Salik. Futuristic buildings, nestled by the Gulf of Aqaba, surrounded by stunning landscapes. They've got some heavy hitters behind the scenes too. Mario, Cuccinella, Chris Van Dyne, and Sean Killer, all known for their forward-thinking architectural styles. Now they're talking a big game about preserving the natural beauty of the area, aiming to keep 95% of it intact for ecotourism. But let's be real, the construction of this scale usually leaves a mark, and despite the glossy CGI, it's hard to believe they won't disrupt the environment. At least a bit. There is no start date for construction yet, though. Then there's Epicon, another jaw-dropping project along the Gulf of Aqaba. Think towering glass structures straight out of a sci-fi flick. Leonard Milford, one of the architects even nods to this genre in the promo video. It's like something out of a dream, or maybe a nightmare, if you're afraid of heights. But the luxury train doesn't stop there. Sirana is the epitome of high-end seaside living, complete with a marina accessible only by boat, luxury, relaxation, and eco-friendly living are all rolled into one. It's like they're building a paradise from scratch, so let's check out what else is cooking at Neom. There's Nolana, a new tourist spot that might seem a bit less flashy compared to the others, but it's still promising top-notch comfort. Then there is a Coelum, a new fantasy set to rise in the Gulf of Aqaba. Picture this, it's built vertically inside a mountain, so you won't even see the buildings until you're inside the marina. Talk about luxury living. Now, if you're more into culture, there's Utamo. It's this spectacular theater carved into a mountain, accessible only by boat quite the adventure, right? And with space for 2,600 spectators, it's bound to host some epic shows. But let's not forget about the big event on the horizon, the Riyadh World Expo 2030. It's like a showdown of architectural marvels, with each project trying to outdo the other. And with the expo set to attract millions, it's Saudi Arabia's time to shine. Meanwhile, back at Neom, things are starting to take shape. Sindala, the luxurious island retreat, is coming to life. Satellite images show a temporary town popping up, and they're aiming to open for business by 2024. The construction is in full swing, with container ships ferrying in materials left and right, and with Marriott on board offering job opportunities, it seems like they're serious about making it happen. But amidst all this hustle and bustle, one can't help but wonder about Neom's eco-friendly promises. Sure, they are selling it as a paradise of untouched nature, but with a rapid pace of construction, will they keep their word? Only time will tell. Moving eastward from Sindala, two new worker towns have sprung up in just a few months, Neom Community 1 and 2. These aren't your average makeshift camps. They're fully equipped with public services, sports facilities, and yes, even a Starbucks. They're the hubs for the folks tasked with turning the line into a reality. Now let's talk about the line. This thing is wild. Picture a vertical city stretching 170 kilometers with room for 9 million people. 
is like something out of a sci-fi novel. Construction is in full swing, with massive excavation work and pillars being erected along the route. The plan? To have buildings towering nearly 500 meters high, supported by these colossal structures. But here's the catch. While the architects promise a carbon-neutral city with fields of wind turbines and solar panels, the reality is that building something this massive is no small feat. It's going to generate a lot of pollution in the process, raising some serious ecological concerns. Meanwhile, Oxagon is taking shape as the port and industrial hub of Neom. The first terminal is set to open in 2025, linking the region to the Red Sea and opening up avenues for international trade. And get this, they are planning to kick off the world's largest hydrogen plant in 2026 with an eye-watering price tag of $8.4 billion. Wind turbines and solar panels are already on site, gearing up to power this behemoth of a plant. But Oxagon isn't just about the industry, it's also set to have a residential and tourist section. Picture a massive city on stilts, rising from the sea. It's like something straight out of a futuristic movie. However, it seems like work on this part of Oxagon hasn't quite kicked off yet, but given the scale of the project, it's only a matter of time before it becomes a reality. So, whether it's building towering cities in the desert, or floating metropolises, on the sea, Neoma is pushing boundaries of what's possible. But as the cranes continue to rise and the construction crews work around the clock, one question remains. At what cost to the environment? Only time will tell. Let's wrap up this journey through Neom with a glimpse into the winter wonderland of the future, Drogena. Like other parts of Neon, the focus here is on excavation work, especially since some of the surrounding mountains need to be flattened before construction can even begin. So far, according to the maps, none of the buildings teased in the videos have broken ground. But the clock is ticking because Trojana is gearing up to host the Asian Winter Games in 2029. That's right around the corner because it hasn't stopped the developers from making big announcements. Case in point, they recently unveiled the plans for a skyscraper reaching a staggering 330 meters high, rivaling the Eiffel Tower in height. This architectural marvel, designed by renowned Zaha Hadid, is set to grace the shores of a massive artificial lake, which will be the centerpiece of the winter resort. It sounds breathtaking, but as with the rest of the project, it remains to be seen if it'll become a reality. Before we wrap up, it's worth mentioning that Crown Prince Salman's vision for Neom includes some pretty out-of-this-world technologies. We're talking flying cars, robot maids, even dinosaur robots, and a giant artificial moon. Yep, you heard that right. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? And with that futuristic note, we'll call it a day for this video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.